Trump is uh, doubling down on his plan to strengthen the nation's borders. Yeah, the Republican presidential candidate now says he wants to bar all Muslims from coming into the United States. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes says that Trump's comments are contrary to our values as Americans. This morning, local Muslim leaders are responding with criticism to Donald Trump's controversial comments about closing our borders to Muslims. Yeah, and 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram joins us now live from Dearborn with some of that reaction. Jen. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, we all know Donald Trump is no stranger to controversy. And these latest comments have people here in Dearborn just shaking their heads, saying that these comments are just full of hate, un-American, and pretty much go against our Constitution. Now, the Republican presidential frontrunner calling for the U.S. to put a hold on Muslims entering the country, saying it's one way to protect the U.S. from the growing threat of terrorism. The publisher of Arab American News calls it unpatriotic. The Arab American Civil Rights League says Donald Trump is creating fear and hoping to politically capitalize on it. Overall, many here in Dearborn say they don't think Trump could be the next president, especially with his recent comments. Take a listen. What is the difference between a Donald Trump and a uh, Hitler-like individual that is sitting here making statements to make fear against a certain group of people? That is not good for the country. It violates the Constitution, the essence of our Constitution, and the values that we, we, we brag about having in this country, that we are nation of nations, nation of immigrants. More Muslims as a religious group have been killed by ISIS than anybody else. Donald Trump's comments speak to uh, really stoking the fears of uh, the American public. And Donald Trump says this proposed ban would apply to immigrants, visitors, pretty much anyone who is Muslim. Of course, this debate, far from over, will continue to follow the latest on the story. We're live in Dearborn this morning. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. Thanks, Jen. Now, later this morning, Donald Trump will be on Good Morning America to discuss his Muslim travel ban proposal. Tune in Channel 7 at 7.